show you one. So we're at home, but I think it would be nice for us to still do our routine like normal and pretend we're at school. So the day and the date. Hmm. What day was it yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. So today is Super Tuesday. The day is Tuesday. That's its name. So we need a capital letter because it's its name, the name of the day. So Tuesday, capital letter. Oh, I can hear the first sound. T. Good. But I'm writing capital letter. So which letter is it? Think of the alphabet. What's its name? It's a uh, super, a letter T. Good. And the sound is a T. That's the first sound. Can you hear any other sounds? Segment the word. T. Use D. A. Good Fred Fingers. T. U. Good. A U with an E. T. U. That makes one sound. So we've got a dash. T. Use. Good. T. Use. D. A. Good. There's another dash, another digraph on the end. T. Use. Hey, Tuesday, super. Now, it's important that we do this because in year one, you need to be able to spell by the end of year one all of the days of the week. Okay, you've got to be able to spell Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All of those words that we're going to practice this week, like we do at school, okay? Right, that's the day. What's the date? It was the fourth yesterday. So we need to add one more, look at our number line, we're thinking more, so are we going that way or that way? More means bigger, good, so we're going that way. One more, one jump, the fifth, super. So we don't say the five or five because it's the date, we say the fifth, good. Oh, tens and ones, are there any tens in five? No, that's right. There aren't any tens because this is ten using our numicon, isn't it? This is ten using our deans. But five, one, two, three, four, five. Five only comes up to there. We haven't got to ten yet, have we? It's not a big enough number. It's not a big enough number on our number line. We haven't got there yet. So you don't need any of those numbers. So we have no tens because we're not there yet. It's not big enough. And we've got five ones. Super. It's the fifth. That's the, the date. And oh, which month are we in? We're in a new month. January. Super. Oh, I've put some circles around a couple of the letters because they're tricky ones, aren't they? When you sound out the word, the sounds don't look like those letters. Okay, well done. Right then. Oh, we need to think about our whole part part. So today we've got number five we're thinking of. And number five is our whole amount. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pull it off. Five, that's our whole. Okay, I haven't got any ones. Any ones, I mean any tens. I have got ones. I've got how many ones? One, two, three, four, five. I've got five ones. Okay, so five is our whole number. Break it into two parts. Have a think. How could you do that? How can you split it up into two parts? Oh, there are lots of ways, aren't there? I'm thinking, hmm, my first one that I'm going to do is Shout out when you know. Oh, five. And I'm not going to put anything in there. Because remember, zero is still a number. So five, add zero, equals five. I can write that here. Five, add zero, is still five. That's one way we could do it. Have another think. How else could we do it? Hmm. Yeah, we could do four, add how many more to make five? Could 
use the number line to help you, you could use your fingers to help you. Four, how many more to make five? One equals five. Good. I know some of you will be really quick at doing this, which is super. Five add one. Can you think of lots of other ways? You could have, there's a bit of a pattern coming, isn't there? You could have three add two. Super makes five. Do it on our fingers. Three and two more makes five. We could have two and how many more? Three more makes five. Super, we could have one. And how many more makes five? Four more makes five. You could have zero add how many more makes five? Zero add five makes five. Super. Well done. Let's do some subtraction, okay? So we need to be really, really good at our taking away as well. So if I'm taking away, my number here has to be 